I'd like to invite one member of the group, uh, Eric Duflo. He's been very active in the chat and, and he's been a real uh, big player in the consumer protection space for many years and really value his contributions. Uh, Eric, I'd love for you to come in and say a few things around uh, CGAP's vision for consumer protection and how you envision working with RFF it, it, uh, moving forward. Hi, Eric, can you turn on your video? Can you hear me? Great. I got disconnected right when you called me. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much, Maeda, and thanks to the CFI team for organizing this uh, responsible finance forum event. It really feels like a family reunion with a lot of, uh, you know, familiar faces. Um, so, you know, at CGAP, you know, we're currently developing our new vision for financial consumer protection. Uh, that fits you know, our fast uh, evolving financial world. And we're calling it a responsible digital finance ecosystem approach. So I think it's clear why we, we need a new approach for consumer protection in particular in digital finance. We all know the huge potential of digital finance. We've all discussed it this morning uh, and we're all you know, working on leveraging the opportunity. But you know, as Madri presented uh, in her video, the consumer risks are growing faster than the technology adoption. And the overall consumer protection framework, uh, I believe is not well set for all the new players that are coming in, such as FinTech startups, digital platforms, and also all the new authorities that are coming in, such as data uh, protection authorities. So somehow we need to connect many more actors in the markets and take a more holistic approach. So we're still working on this concept at CGAP, uh, but we see three conditions for a responsible digital finance ecosystem, and we call this the three C's. Uh, and it's not the only ones we need, and we can work with all of you on this. But the first one is customer centricity, and we've talked about this also today. You know, focus on customer outcomes, uh, not just a focus on what providers are doing, but what's happening to customers on the ground. Uh, and customer centricity needs to be ingrained both in regula regulation, supervisory uh, mechanisms, what providers are doing and, and providing to, to customers and also market facilitators like uh, you know, uh, CFI, CGAP and, and others or, and funders. The second C is capability for all actors. Uh, so that means having the rules, but also the tools to uh, act responsibly and protect consumers. Uh, that means you know, uh, supervisors that have more you know, market monitoring tools. That means consumers that have higher capability in the long term. And the third C is collaboration, which I think has been a leitmotiv, a uh, recurring theme uh, today. And when we talk about collaboration in this new approach, it's co collaboration at all different levels. It's collaboration among similar actors, like collaboration among diff, you know, uh, uh, supervisors that are involved in, in digital finance, but it's also collaboration, as we've discussed earlier, between uh, consumer associations and regulators, uh, between providers and consumers, et cetera, et cetera. So we're testing this approach in the WEMU region at the moment uh, with our Digital Finance Consumer Protection Lab. And we hope to work with all of you on this uh, approach in, you know, in, in the future. We just gathered two weeks ago with about 60 fact actors from the DFS ecosystem to analyze consumer risks in Ivory Coast and come up with solutions together in a very collaborative approach. So the RFF is absolutely critical uh, in this vision because it is a you know it is a global collaboration uh, and we think the rff is absolutely critical for this responsible digital finance ecosystem approach because it actually promotes all the three conditions that i have mentioned at the international level it has a focus on customers as we've heard today it's a forum where we can share knowledge and it's a great tool to you know bring in more capacity among different stakeholders and to encourage collaboration so I really, you know, strongly support the, uh, the RFF. Uh, I think it can truly ex act as an accelerator and we need accelerators at the moment. Um, and we hope that, you know, together we can have a, a faster and a more significant impact in making financial inclusion more meaningful uh, for people to build their resilience and seize opportunities. Thank you, Mayada and, and organizers. Thank you, Eric. It's really, uh... 
very impressive the work that CGEP has been doing and we're, uh, we value greatly this partnership and we hope that other organizations can use RFF in the same way that CGEP is doing and, and um, as well as some of the other organizations I've mentioned in, the, in our advisory group. Um, we think RFF can definitely amplify the work of others and it is really just meant to bring together the community to, to accelerate a progress around the world. Please do reach out to us if you have other if you have any suggestions or ideas of how to leverage the, uh, this platform. This is your platform. Um, uh, in closing, I just want to share a few uh, immediate next steps. Um, we're going to be uh, we're going to keep asking for your feedback. We'll be dropping a, a survey uh, in the chat right now. Uh, uh, please send us your feedback on this event. Please give us ideas around the future. Remember, we CFI is the convener. We are not the owner. Um, this, if this platform is yours to make it what, what you want. Um, we second we are you know we've talked a lot about the linkedin group so it is uh live already and during this event we've had a hundred new people sign up so we are definitely hoping to continue the dialogue about some of the, the topics and, and questions that came up during this conversation we want to continue that dialogue on that group uh it's also a platform where we, you could give us additional feedback um and finally we will be uh doing a recap of this uh, webinar. Uh, we will make the panel sessions available as well as a, a written synthesis of the main findings uh, or the main discussions during this event. Um, our intent is to organize one more virtual event uh, this year and then to have go back to in person next year. We're aiming for April 2023, so be on the lookout for that. Um, we'll need a lot of your help to organize that, so we will reach, reach out to many of you who have, have participated today.